Hi, my name is Lydia Racanelli. I own Lydia's Bake Shop and Cafe in Dobsari, New York. We've been open since January of 2013. Before Buddy's visit, our sales were very low and we're at the point of closing. We were very disorganized. You never knew where anything was. We didn't have anything in the case, such as cakes or pies or cupcakes. We were basically selling cookies and we're doing paninis and salads and our variety was very limited. We did need a lot of help. It was very slow, it was very quiet. There was really no organization. It was crazy. <laughs> yes, I knew there were problems, but it was one of those things where when I tried to fix it, it just didn't work right. It was a case of, I went in, I knew the issue was there, and I tried to solve it, but I just wasn't solving it the right way. When Buddy was coming to our bake shop, I was hoping that he'd help us with everything from how we keep stuff, how we run stuff, to what we have in stock. When I heard Buddy was coming, I was very hopeful that he would help us organize and tell us what we were doing wrong so that we could correct the problem and hopefully get more business. First off, let's talk about the food. Cupcake I was really impressed with. The thing is, is why aren't they in the showcases? When Buddy came, we really didn't have many cupcakes or any cupcakes ready. When customers came in, we would ice them to order, but now we have them stocked in the case and uh, people are happy to see them and we are selling a lot of them. No more paninis! All right, no more paninis, say it again, let me hear it. No more paninis! While the show was here, we said we weren't gonna do any paninis, but after the show left, we actually had a lot of customers coming in saying, you have to do paninis. Literally, like, I had people stopping me on the side of the street saying, I heard you're not doing paninis, you have to do paninis. Our customers really like them, so we put them back on our menu. It was really fun and exciting working with him. We got a chance to do different things that I just haven't done in a while here. Like, I've learned them, but I just never put them to use here at the bakery. I do underutilize my talents that I've learned over the years. I'm glad to hear you use the word talent because part of what you need is confidence in your abilities and your talents, and you do have talents. I think that he gave her a lot more confidence, and she's pushing herself to be a little bit more organized than she was, so that she can concentrate more on the uh, presentation and the baking of it. Now in the display crates, we have a wider variety of items. We have cakes, cupcakes, and then we just make sure we go through it at least once or twice a day, rotating inventory and products. I've noticed that a lot of people who come in just for coffee will now go and get an extra dessert, and they said, oh, it looks so good, I just had to buy it. Well, from before to now, the bakery is brighter, better color scheme, more desserts in here. It looks good. It just seems, I don't know, it just seems different. Maybe it's got a different energy or it's just, you know, it just feels happy. Working here now is a lot less stressful now that we've gotten more organized. We have more refrigeration so we know where everything is instead of trying to find it. Instead of just putting something in a totally random spot, it gets put back to where it actually belongs. The working environment now at Lydia's, it's been more of a smooth flow. We kind of come in, we figure out what needs to get done in the morning. We assign the jobs, and then we just go to town and try to get as much as we can done, and we just go through the list, and there's more organization so we know what's going on. The best advice Buddy gave me was to have more confidence in myself and just believe in what I do and know that I know what I'm doing. I really appreciate everything that he's done for us, and he just took the time to get to know us and see what we needed and helped us out.